Elsewhere, there's Emmy Award winner Hank Azaria, who holds pocket kings against the pocket aces of Pete Giordano. You really got aces, huh? I think. I don't remember. I have to look. And you'll show me if you have them? Yes, I will. This is brutal. You got nothing to do. Stay around for a little while longer. <laughs> He's a comedian. <laughs> <laughs> All right, look what I'm laying down, folks. You're laying down kings. Hank's going to show the kings. He got, he got aces. And Giordano keeps his word, shows the aces. Big lay down. They say these celebrities can't play. That's a lot of baloney. How could you do that to Chief Wiggum, my friend? How could you have aces against Chief Wiggum's kings? <laughs> Chief Wiggum is just one of the many voices Hank provides for the TV hit series, The Simpsons. The growing chip stack of Joseph Hashem and the waning minutes of this day one for everyone. Four deuce off suit. <laughs> Joe continues to be aggressive. Well, chapter nine of my book, Lon, since everyone wants to survive day one, the big stack can raise on the last hand and everyone will fold. However, my book doesn't take into account right. Ace King. <laughs> <laughs> What an, I'm hoping You're for, a crazy Englishman. I was hoping for 2-7. Why do they have to give me that? Stephen Hill with Ace King. Stephen is from London. It's up to me. 31 seconds. Alan Jaffrey Schulman as the clock winds down. I don't like that sound. It's like the dentist. <laughs> Alex Eris now. Ah, he's got a hand. Couple of queens. Congratulations, everybody. Made it to the first day. Anyone not in this hand yeah. is guaranteed to play on day two as the clock has wound down to zero. Yes. Quite a moment for everyone in the room. You two haven't made it yet. <laughs> Just remember that. Don't start clapping yet. You two haven't made it yet. Yeah, congratulations. You've made it. Like, made nobody's it. busting like you, double. baby. Joe's got everyone covered. I call. And Eris oh makes the God. call with his queens. Woo. Hey, we got a hand here. I might move all in blind without before anybody says anything. Huh? I might. Three to the flop. It is nine. Deuce, deuce, hash him again. He flops trips. Go all in. Somebody go all in, please. This wow. should make it easy. If he'd gone all in blind, they wouldn't have known would hit him. Uh, la, 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 Harris la, la. checked. Hashem checks. Let's keep you friendly. And Hill will check. And now we go with another two <laughs> quads for Joe Hashem. Bad news for Eris, he turns a full house. There you go. And he bets 5,000. Just a smooth call from Hashem. Day two. With that fold, Hill advances. Congratulations, you've made it to tomorrow. <laughs> oh, whatever it is. So heads up now to the river card. It's a three, but Eris was already drawing dead. He'll be first to act, though, with his useless full house. So there's a problem, right? If you bet, I might call or raise. If you check, I might bet, and then you have to call. Hashem said everybody here dangling from a cliff all day. 8,000. No, no, 16,000. Hashem raised it to 16. Wow, more pressure on Alex Aris. Does he want to go out on this hand? And he's got to believe he's got the best hand. Oh, you got kings? Aces? There are not a whole lot of cards that can beat Eris, but the deuce Hashem holds is one of them. How do I lay this down? How do I lay this down? Like the thing is, if you call, you'll still make day two. If you raise, you might be in trouble. You're a monster, don't you? Yeah, nice. Fuck the full house. I call. Wow. Oh. Show me a nines. Nope, it's a oh. deuce. Oh. And you can oh feel Eris's pain. The only good news is that he wasn't pushed oh. all in. What a way to close it out for Joe Hashem. Oh. Alex Eris will make it to day two, but with a slightly lighter chip stack. As action continues at our featured table, seven-handed here. Gold with king, ten of diamonds. I raise. I raise. Gonna raise it up. Jamie playing very aggressively as usual. Makes it 175,000 to go. Friedman with pocket sevens. Perlad makes the call. How much are you playing? 
two five. Two five. It'll be the would-be TV producer versus the would-be rapper. Pretty much a coin flip. Here we go to the flop. Four, deuce, deuce, keeps Prahlad Friedman in the lead with his pocket sevens. 300. Gold will bet out 300,000 chips. Jamie's coach, this main event has been Johnny Chan, and Chan must be telling him to keep pressuring the small stack. If Prahlad calls here, this is what he would want, heads up against Jamie Gold. And Prahlad does put out the call. And these two will go to the turn. Turn card is an ace. Could be a scare card for both players. Gold to act first. He checks. Jamie backs off. Prahlad will check as well. So to the river we go. It's a three of clubs. Prahlad Friedman with the check mark. Also puts a straight draw on the board. 750. 750,000 chips from Jamie Gold with nothing. Gold puts his river bluff cap on. You got anything? Mm hmm Oh, yeah. He's got king high. You going to show me? Sure. He likes to show. Have you shown any bluffs in the tournament when someone asks you that? No. Never? He's lying, Prahlad. He works in Hollywood. You hit the ace on the turn, didn't you? <laughs> ace queen or something? I'll show you. I heard a story about you making a nice bluff. You bet about 750, I think. All right, you caught me. Huh? Please call. You caught me. Jamie does look uncomfortable. You showed a king high that time. You got a good read on me. Really? He does. Yeah. That's incredible. Prahlad has amazingly nailed exactly what Jamie Gold is up to. But all of Jamie's talk is messing with Prahlad's mind. Man, I can't believe you got me. I can't believe she raised this stone cold liar. <laughs> Need some time. Need some time. Prahlad has the right instincts, but he's reluctant to follow through on it. It's for about one third of his remaining chips. I don't even want to watch. Uh. <sighs> now Jamie walks away. He says he doesn't want to watch. He's got Prahlad Friedman totally befuddled. Look, he's trying to hide. Isn't that another tell? And Prahlad folds. Yeah, and Jamie will show. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> what a bluff. And Prahlad Friedman can't believe he couldn't pull the trigger. He had a perfect read on Jamie Gold, but could not do it. Wow, Mama Gold should be proud. Oh, I did. Two sevens. I told him I was bluffing. I told him he got me. Jamie Gold. A pro finally had Jamie Gold in his sights and let him get away. Oh, I said what he had and everything. You had me, no question. I had it all mapped I out. You had it perfectly. I've been playing instincts the whole tournament, and now I just shied away from it. You, had, wow. you, you absolutely had me. You called it perfectly. I said you bet the same yeah. amount. You, you had call, king high. You called high. it perfectly. You, you, you. Wow. I'm in the zone, but I, yeah. I didn't fall through that time. Every other time I have. Now the only thing we can say is that I don't lie. I said you got me. Jamie Gold, table and main event captain right now. 8-7 offsuit. Throws in one of the new green chips worth 100,000. The first time they've had a chip worth 100,000 at the World Series of Poker. He raises it to 400,000. Prahlad Friedman with ace three off suit. That green is a funky looking chip. You know you got your call. Jamie telling him, you push, I'm calling you. And again, it seems inappropriate to me because there is action behind Prahlad Friedman. Friedman will push, all in. Kevin Aronson to act behind Friedman with pocket tens. And he has the best hand. Hmm. And he heard Jamie say he would call Prahlad. How much do you have, Jamie? A trillion. You still look, too. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about me. Well, he has to worry about Jamie. He's the guy who can knock Kevin Aronson out. All right. Well, I guess i got to see your hand anyways. And the tens go into the muck. much of a hand. But I think I have to call. I'm getting two to one. You're good no matter what I have. I mean, you know, whether I call or not, you're fine. 
So don't worry. Jamie had already claimed he's playing. I think there's just too much in the pot. I got nothing, but I'll call. Berlotz tournament life at stake. Nice. Much better than I thought. Jamie's best friend, Eric Strozer, along with Jamie's mom. Could have been worse. I'm getting two to one. I'm getting two to one, and I'm live. I'm fine. This is good odds for me. Put that ace up there. Everyone in the crowd, come on. Prahlad and his wife, D, trying to will an ace from the deck. Ace. Ace. You don't need an ace, just no seven or eight. I want an ace. Gold's Bluff sent Prahlad reeling earlier. Now Friedman with a chance to get a bunch of chips back. Now the flop. Four, six, five, oh! Yes! yes! The Gold Rush continues, a straight for Jamie Gold. There you go. Are you kidding me? Wow. What did you say? It's all, you did it. Prahlad cannot it. believe it. It's the new American dream, Lon. Work hard, flop the nuts, and maybe you'll win $12 million. <laughs> I'm not sure anybody can believe how good this guy's running. Well, Prahlad now all but out of here. Friedman would need a running seven and eight. So there'd be an eight high straight on the board, and they would chop the pot. Seven. Now the turn card. It's a jack, and that puts an end to it for Prahlad Friedman. Jamie Gold with a huge feather in his cap, knocking off one of his toughest challengers in Prahlad Friedman, who goes out in 20th place. And they might as well start putting Jamie Gold's face on all the chips, Lon, because it seems like he's got all the chips. He's got over 20 million, and Prahlad Friedman's day is now over. <sighs> Jamie's been near impeccable with his talk. He tells them he's got the nuts, they call. He tells them he's bluffing, they fold. That is one of the reasons Jamie Gold is the overwhelming chip leader. 4-3 offsuit, he'll call the big blind to 400,000. Jamie's knocked out every player at this final table except one. Doug Kim was eliminated by Paul Wasika. Wasika with 8-7 suited will make the call to Michael Binger. A suited ace-10 from the big blind. And Binger's going to raise it up to a million and a half. Jamie Gold. No hesitation with four, the 4 three. 3 off suit. <laughs> he makes the call. Now Wasika. Can't have a hand every single time Jamie limps in. Jeez. Wasika expressing some frustration. And these players at the same table for such a long time sometimes get a little testy with each other. Now Wasika, though, will join the party, so all three players will see the flop. Binger in command right now. The flop is 6, 10, 5, something for everybody. Binger paired his 10. Gold got a straight draw, and Paul Wasika picked up a straight flush draw. Wasika first act, he checks. And now Binger, two fisted, 3.5 million. I'm all in. <laughs> and there goes Jamie Gold right with him. Paul Wasika doesn't know what to make of this. Sick. Oh, Waska is exasperated. This is it, guys. This is sick. We all got a hand. Let's do it. Let's go all three. Let's get it over with right now. This is sick. If they both do call this thing and Jamie gets really lucky, it could be over right now. And what a decision for Wasika. This is disgusting. On a straight flush draw, there's a player behind him. It's for all his chips. If he misses the draw, he's got nothing. Wasika kicks it in. Binger's got to play. Jamie Gold with a chance to knock off another player, but he's going to have to come from behind to do it. Come on. Binger's family all behind Michael. Paul, well, you didn't have the best. Paul, well, you didn't have the best hand, did you? I had a seven eight of spades. Yeah. So there's one seven gone. We need a deuce. Seven or a deuce gives Jamie Big the straight. Red. Jamie playing the big stack. He drove out the better draw. Now he's heads up to knock out another player. Turn card. Oh, a seven! <laughs> Jamie Gold eliminates Michael Binger on the turn with a straight. Binger is dazed. And the meaningless river card comes out. Another spade. Wasika actually would have won the hand with a flush. Head up. Set up. Jamie has a three-four. And Wasika is just happy to be going heads up against Jamie Gold. 
But what a main event it was for Michael Binger, who receives $4.1 million and a great send-off from friends and family here in the Rio Poker Room, including his brother Nick. We need more physicists in poker, Lon.